we move on to discuss Liverpool um, retaining Mohamed Salah. How crucial it is for Liverpool to retain Mohamed Salah. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's interesting, interesting, interesting there. So, Mohamed Salah, after that, you know, high-flying game... Um, against Manchester United where he was able to get a goal at Anfield I mean at Old Trafford and continue his amazing run that he's had he had some you know you know he was on uh, I believe he was on Sky Sports or something of that sort yeah Sky Sports and he had some interesting some comments Mohamed Salah I had a good summer and had a long time to myself to try to stay positive because as you know it's my last year at the club I just want to enjoy it and I don't want to think about it. I feel like I'm free to play football and then we'll see what happens next year. Coming into the game, I said it could be my last time. No one at the club has spoken to me about contracts. So I'm just like, okay, I'm playing my last season and and see what happens at the end of the season. So far, we don't know which club, but so far, yeah, my last game here was Liverpool. It's not up to me, but nobody... Talk to me about a contract with the club. We'll see. Um. Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's pretty simple. Look, he starts off saying it is my last year at the club, but then he had that caveat caveat saying we'll see, and nobody talked to me about a contract. It's not up to me. So it really, you know, you know, he said it's his last year at the club, and you know. Some uh, nobody ran away with it, saying, "Oh, this is Mohamed Salah's farewell season." Blah blah blah. It has those sparked the conversation, and I think it's the comments he had at the end saying, "We'll see," um, saying, "We'll see," talking about um, uh, it's not up to me. No contract has been offered. I'm sort of throwing the ball into Liverpool's court, and um, yeah, look for me, it's a little bit shocking. You know, um, you know that it's hard to believe almost that they have. I'm not calling Mohamed Salah a liar, by the way, but it's really hard to believe that they have had no contract, no contact over a possible contract. That's wow. That's crazy for me. But but if you you know you want to look at it from Liverpool's perspective, last year the end of the year didn't have a greatest end to the year. And he is a player that's already you know, that's. That's not, you know, a young player anymore. He is 32 years old. And there might be a little bit of a reluctance, you know, giving him a three, you know, a three plus year deal. Because, you know, at this, at every moment now with his age, 32, it's year to year in terms of maybe a sudden drop off coming in. It really comes quickly sometimes with these sort of star players. You just don't know. And maybe Liverpool, the one P be put in a position that they're having to pay a player um, that's past it. You know, we see Chelsea sort of dealing with that with Raheem Sterling having to loan him out and still pay half his bill. We see what's going on with United and Casemiro. You know, it's, it's, it's a risk there, you know. But, you know, Mohamed Salah is the heart and soul of Liverpool. And we see from the start of the season that he's clearly not washed. He clearly has... Um, supreme ability and he's still one of the best players in the world and this is a guy that will go down as one of the best players in Liverpool history if not the best player in Liverpool history so uh, it'd be a shame for the club to let a player like that you know leave before he's completely you know before he's completely done in terms of giving his best you know you know Steven Gerrard Steven Gerrard you say you know he left Liverpool whenever he was done you know, for me, you got to treat Mohamed Salah in that same way. Because, look, those are the kind of players that don't come around very often. You know, with his ability to score, his ability to just be dynamic, his clutch factor too, always showing up at Old Trafford. You know, that's a Liverpool legend. Right there, and that's a proper Liverpool player. His, You know, his what he's been able to do at Old Trafford in that derby. And he's... He's very, very important. And we talk about Liverpool's strong attack. We see Luis Diaz, Jota, you know, Salah, and then they got guys like Gakpo and Nunez on the bench. But that attack doesn't look anywhere near 
as dominant and you know and make the opposition fear of there's no Salah in there. It's Salah being in there on top of the depth and quality around him that makes that you know attacking display um, very fearful um, if you're one of the uh, you know the opposition. So you know it's beyond it's beyond crucial for Liverpool to retain Mohamed Salah. And yes, Arne Slot is building something. You know, they're playing some quality, quality football. And you see, you know, we already see a pattern of play in a way that they want to go about an, a, an approach that we're still yet to see from Eric Ten Hag at Manchester United. We already see that from our Nistal at this Liverpool team. They're going to be dynamic. They're going to be able to control the ball. They're going to be able to move. They can move the ball quickly at certain moments. They, they can take the air and control it in certain games. They're lightning electric and counter attacks. They really value the use of fullback, um, just like Jurgen Klopp did. You know, we already see patterns of play in the way that they want to go about it. Um, so there's a nucleus there. There's something special that they're building. But you, you know, a player, Mohamed Salah, is the perfect player to be that transitional piece from that Jurgen Klopp era into the start of this Arne Slot era. You know, his ability, his dominance, and he's a guy that you know with the goals. You know, there's Mohamed Salah replacing him. You don't replace him like that. You don't replace him like that. This is a guy that's had ridiculous. You know statistics since he's came into the club. Um, let, let, let's just pull it up real quick, actually. So last season, last season he had eighteen goals and ten assists. Season before that, nineteen goals and twelve assists. Season before that, twenty three goals and thirteen assists. Season before that, twenty two goals and five assists. That is a you know consistent, productive of you know, on average about you know. 30, 30 goals and assists per season in the Premier League alone. In the Premier League alone. Not in any other competition. This is just Premier League alone, by the way. You know, that's not an easy thing to just replace at a club. And then on top of that, you don't really have that replacement for him right now. Now, yes, Federico Chiesa is a player, you know, that you're bringing in. That you're, you know, a sort of experimental player to see if you can get him back to his best that we saw from him at the European Championship. But he's not a Mohamed Salah. And to expect Mohamed Salah like production from him, he's a guy that you were able to sign for 13, 14 million for a reason. So, you know, he's a talisman and you you don't come across these sort of players like that. So for me, yeah, I have to say it's absolutely crucial that Liverpool keep him.